In season one, episode four, Jeremy goes after a giant eel-like catfish in Europe, which is causing havoc, evidently attacking swimmers that are going through in the lakes and channels. Now, of course, those that have watched it know this fish to be the Wells catfish, one of the largest catfish in Europe, and in fact, one of the largest catfish in the world, I do believe. Falling only behind the Mekong catfish? Question mark? I wonder. It makes you wonder. I know a lot of big ones come out of Spain. But today, we are here in Sander Baggersy, and uh, we are going to be chasing down a unique Wells catfish, just like Jeremy Wade. Now, you have some options when you come to Sander Baggersy. Essentially, any dark spot on the map could potentially have a unique catfish, but from what my intel has told me is that uh, these small locations versus the very big one uh, hold a good chance of holding a monstrous catfish and I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try out a few different locations in these smaller deep spots and see if we can nail a giant catfish. You can certainly travel over to the side and cast out way deep into the lake and uh, using all of your bottom rods you can certainly uh, struggle in a giant whale's catfish. But having the opportunity to use this uh, boat that we have with rod holders on it for the episode anyway will make it a little bit easier to hopefully uh, come on to one of these giant whales catfish. So we're gonna jump into the boat. We're going to uh, cruise on over to one of these deep spots and then using the rod holders, we are going to see if we can capitalize on a giant catfish, everyone. So if you're looking forward to this episode, make sure you pack your tackle boxes, hit that like button and let's get fishing, everyone. The depth finder on the boat is actually better than uh, than the one on the map. We can actually see where the deepest parts of this lake are, and I guess that that is technically the deepest part. Let's uh, let's move on over to this location over here where the water gets super deep. We'll see if we can nail ourselves one of these whiskery beasts. All right. Slowing down now as we near this section right here. Essentially, if we uh, if we can cast in a straight line, we should be able to stay in this deeper water here. So let's go ahead. We're going to put an anchor down um, so that we don't drift too much. I do realize that this is going to hinder us from using the trolling motor, but using the rod holders, you can't use the trolling motor anyway. So we're just going to be in for a big fight, everyone. Now, we do have some different rods here. We are using all the same rod, uh, which are all bottom rods uh, that are set for the Amazon. We are ready for a big fish, and you should be fine if you just use the uh, heaviest rod you have and just buckle in tight, because you're going to be uh, dealing with a fight here. But we are using three different baits. We've got duck muscle meat on a four-rod hook, we've got leeches on a four-rod hook, and then we've got frogs on a five-rod hook. Did want to try a five odd hook. I've been told that four odds fine to catch uh, to catch a big old uh, unique whale's catfish, but I wanted to try a different hook and I wanted to try different baits as well, just to make sure uh, what the best bait is. Though I guess catching one unique on on one bait doesn't really uh, classify it as the best. But we're just going to go ahead and toss this bad boy out. Got a frog right here. We're gonna throw this in our number two rod holder. Gonna sink down real deep. As you can see on the map there, we are going down almost to 60 feet, which is just kind of crazy if you think about it. I might toss it out and I might let line out. Call me crazy. That's gonna keep it from uh, creating an arc in the line and coming nearer to the boat which wouldn't be the end of the world. But I am getting ahead of myself here because I never explained the timing that you can go after these wells. You don't need to fish at nighttime. You can actually catch these guys during the day. So we're gonna go ahead and skip this time to one of the best times to be fishing for them right in the middle of this gorgeous hill for fishing here. A little cloudy outside, but that's not the end of the world. And now, uh, which I should have, I just bought bells for all the rods. Should have bells for all of them. We're going to toss out yet again. So we should be good now. Now, 
We just wait for the bell to ring, everybody. Oh, we've got action. Bell just rang. I want to say it's the one I'm holding, to be honest. That is that is fish on. Getting a little bit of drag, but I'm not thinking it's the monster we were looking for. But it is the right type of fish. A 13 pound Wells catfish. You can see how this thing would get monstrous. And only 13 pounds. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's 38 inches long and only 13 pounds. I think when this thing gets up to 80, 100 pounds, like, oh, he's gonna be the length of the boat. It's gonna be crazy. All right, we've been here for, I don't know, five minutes. It feels like in a fishing planet century. So I'm gonna go ahead and reel up all our rods. We're gonna try out a different location. Super deep right here, uh, which doesn't mean that that means it's like the best spot to fish, but we've got other areas to go try. And I'm not gonna waste the entire day um, fishing in one area. So let's move the boat and uh, try out somewhere else. All right, we have moved down to this smaller, deeper area. It's a lot less uh, deep. It's a lot shallower, in other words. Uh, about 35 feet. Uh, I'm thinking that we have a little bit of a range to cast out as well. So I'm just gonna cast this one out. Oh, say right here. Let it sink down. Do see a big fish on the radar there. That's a good sign. Hearing some jingle. Oh my. All right, we got one on this rod. Said the strike was done too early, so it makes me wonder if we had another fish on the uh, the rod in front of us. But this is the duck muscle meat on X series barbless four rod hook. We just pulled in a trophy. All right, getting a little bit larger. You can see this guy. The last one was 38 inches long. This guy is 47 inches long. They're getting a little bit longer, are they? Get a little bit heavier, a little bit longer. Still not the unique we're looking for. Always good to see a good fish though. And the head on him, I mean, you could fit your hand in there easy. You can imagine him swallowing a little perch and stuff. Nowhere to hide with this guy. Cool though. Let's throw it back out here and see if that uni's in here somewhere. This one's a little bit better. We're, uh, we're catching two fish at least. It's, I mean, technically better, but not like we got much better fish. This guy looks pretty small. Another 10 pounder. All right, well, that's something anyway. I love how we're catching them on a variety. Ooh, ooh, it's a jingle, it's a jingle. It's on this rod, it, it, it looks like it. See the line moving? There it goes, it's off. This is on duck muscle meat again. Okay, so we've gotten two on the duck muscle meat. Seems like a, a larger fish, maybe another trophy. Ooh, ooh, taking line out and to remind you, this is a rod meant for the Amazon. So if it's taking out line, a decent fish, everyone. Look at that rod bend. Get in here, you tank. There we go! Top notch, 75 pound unique Wells catfish. Exactly what we were looking for. 1,904 XP, $5,385. I will take it all day long. And there is Heenil, a happy guy with his absolutely uh, lake monster, no doubt about it. That is a awesome catch. That is an awesome catch for sure. Well, I tell you what, it's no doubt that something like this uh, would strike some fear in some individuals. Uh, and you can see the one in the river monsters. I mean, it was a big fish too, but I know they get much bigger. And I think Jeremy has uh, a couple of different episodes chasing after the Wells catfish as well. But this is just one uh, example, and we've already got an, a smaller one on this rod, it looks like. Reel him in real quick. But I tell you what, everyone, if this video was helpful for you to chase down your own lake monster, your own river monster, just like Jeremy Wade himself, the absolute legend, uh, then hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future or to catch that next episode uh, where we chase down another river monster, everyone. It's going to be fun. I'm really enjoying this series and I hope you are too. If you want to check us out on our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. We'd love to see you there and we play Fishing Planet every Wednesday night. So. Uh, at this point anyway. So uh, really looking forward to seeing you all and chatting with you live because I really enjoy it. But until the next episode, everyone, take care. And as always, remember everyone, we're one planet, one family, game on.